Cristiano Ronaldo gets used to his new home in Turin, I'm 33 not 23, said Cristiano Ronaldo during his first Juventus press conference, the Portuguese star admitting that he is entering a new phase of his career. While he accepted that a move to Syria would be a tough challenge, it was arguably not as difficult as the one the Biancanari overcame in order to sign him from Real Madrid. The 112 million euros fee is dwarfed only by the after-tax salary of 30 million euros per year agreed as part of his four-year contract, an agreement which marks a huge departure from the club's usually frugal and carefully considered approach to the transfer market. Yet Ronaldo, no matter his age, is not simply another player they have bought or sold. He is an industry by himself or, to paraphrase Jay-Z's line on Kanye West's diamonds from Sierra Leone, he's not a businessman, he's a business man. Juve sold 520,000 County Route 7 shirts within 24 hours of announcing his arrival, their Twitter audience growing by over 1 million followers overnight as the global reach of their newest edition quickly began to pay dividends. Factor in that the club's share price rose by 34.8% simply by virtue of the news and it quickly becomes apparent how and why Juve could justify the outlay, Ronaldo moves the needle. The joy in the faces of Juve director General Beb Morata and sporting director Fabio Paradisi at the official unveiling spoke volumes, they looked like men who fully understood the magnitude of this transfer. The old lady will of course be hoping for a similar outcome when Ronaldo swaps the press podium for the football pitch with the man himself under no illusions about the on-field glory the Bianconeri covet above all others. I'd like to help the team win the Champions League in the next four years, he told reporters on Monday. I know it'll be very difficult but I think it's possible. He should know. Having ended the European adventure of Max Allegri's men in each of the past two seasons, and lifting that same trophy four times in the past five years, he is aware of exactly what is needed. Last term, that dream was shattered by Ronaldo's sensational overhead kick in Turin, and with his media commitments fulfilled, he stepped out to survey the scene of that goal with President Andrea Agnelli. Luigi Key, down finger Luigi Bianconero, Luigi at Cristiano, fire fire fire. Minutes earlier, Ronaldo had spoken of the standing ovation he received that night. It was a special goal, the kind I wanted to score in my career, but I didn't know the future would bring me to the club against whom I scored that goal, he admitted. It was a surprise even for me, I didn't expect it. I'd always liked this club, but even more so after that moment. It is a strange twist of fate that has brought him to this point, while the same cannot be said of the man standing alongside him. The Agnelli family took control of Juventus, Andreas' grandfather, uncle and father all taking their turn in the role he now holds, with the very lounge Ronaldo's press conference was held and named after the latter pair. Johnny and Umberto Agnelli made fielding Ballon d'Or winners something of a habit, Omar Savori, Michel Platini, Paolo Rossi, Roberto Baggio and Pavel Nedved all arriving when their hands were on the tiller. After years of careful planning and organic growth, the latest generation of the family has acquired their first truly great player, one who by virtue of his mere presence catapults the team from dark horse outsider to legitimate contender. is a move that separates Juve from Atletico Madrid and Borussia Dortmund, the only other clubs to threaten the Champions League hegemony established by Barcelona, Bayern Munich and Real Madrid in recent years. Rather than taking a step back from their failures in 2015 and 2017, the old lady has instead acted like an elderly regular at a Turinese fruit and vegetable market, elbowing her way to the front but happy to hand over the cash once she has established prime position. But even bringing home an ingredient as valuable as Ronaldo is no guarantee of success, and it fall to Max Allegri to bring the best from what he has been given. But with a rock-solid defense, a midfield bolstered the arrival of Imraken alongside Miralem Pjanic and an attack that can flank County Route 7 with Paolo Dybala and Douglas Costa, the recipe shouldn't be too complex for such an intelligent and insightful coach. 
I think it's a very important signing, which marks a step up for everyone at the club. Allegri said last week, going on to add that, the club and president have done something extraordinary for Juventus. They unquestionably have, and now the wait to see Cristiano Ronaldo play again begins.